A 2,000-year-old underground fridge has been discovered by accident on a Scottish island. The 20-foot, 6-meter, long Iron Age chamber, thought to be used around 350 BC, was discovered during construction work for a new house being built in Ness on the Isle of Lewis. Experts believe it could have been used for storage, such as dairy and meat products, or for wood used for heating. Local archaeologists Chris and Rachel Barrowman have been recording a cetarine, which Dr. Barrowman says is a rare find for Ness. The digger driver found it while stripping back foundations for a house that's going to be built, he said. He just saw this big void in front of him, about a meter deep, that extended like a long passageway. He called me and asked me to come and have a look, and I recognized immediately that it was a cetarian. It's about three feet below the ground, he said. The chamber is from the middle of the Iron Age and has a typical shape and narrow passageway and stone walling. At first he thought it was something modern, but when he saw what it was he realized it was a lot older, said Mrs. Barrowman. It would have probably been used for food storage, and maybe even Pete's.it was a sort of ancient fridge. These structures are common, but it is rare to find one as well preserved. Ah, they are usually connected to a roundhouse or a wheelhouse, which date back to the late Iron Age. But it is hard to tell because they are always empty and clean when you find them," said Dr. Barrowman. Com Harold and Eileen Sires regional archaeologist is expected to liaise with the person building the house to determine what will happen next. At the end of last year archaeologists in the highlands unearthed another possible Iron Age structure, tool, and pottery pieces during roadworks. The discoveries were made on the Kruben Moor to King Craig stretch of the A9, which is to be made into a dual carriageway. The experts found pottery fragments, part of a plow and a previously unknown structure close to a prehistoric underground structure called Raid's Cave, near Kangussi. Traces of a previously unknown structure were identified together with a scattering of pottery fragments and a possible stone art point, a stone worked into a point for use as part of a plow, 